Hey y'all, so today is, um, what the, what is it? oh, today is May 26th, and I'm on my way to, um, to my walkthrough, or to my orientation slash walkthrough, and I think we have, like, a final walkthrough, like, the day before closing, I believe, because I close on, well, my tentative closing date is on June 5th. And I pray, pray, pray that we are still on schedule because I have to close that day. So yeah, that's where I'm headed now to um to my walkthrough, to my initial initial walkthrough, and then we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm gonna be recording, but I'm not sure if I'm going to upload that. Or I might upload it. I don't know. So I'm gonna upload that, but I'm definitely not uploading anything else about the house until I close because um I want to do like a, a empty house tour it's like if I keep on showing y'all I won't have anything to show at the end of the um house tour so I mean at the empty house tour so that's where we at right now and I'm honestly I'm really really tired I took off today for one but I'm tired because last night I took a um sinus and cold pill and I don't have a sinus um, infection or a cold. I took it so I can go to sleep. But I still feel the effects of it. So that's probably was not the greatest idea, but that's what I did. And here we are. <laughs> so yeah, I'm headed um to the house now. It's 1147. Um, the walkthrough is scheduled for 12.30, so I'm praying that I'm there by 12.30, um, because my house is not in Baton Rouge, um, yeah, so, it's about 30 minutes out, so, yeah, that's, oh yeah, I had to cut down my, um, my press lines, because this one, I'm not flipping it off, but this one broke, and then this one broke, so I ended up just cutting down the rest of them a little bit i mean they're not as short as the ones that broke off but this how i'm looking that's how i'm looking so mm. you come right here you have two valves one for the hot one for the cold Shut okay off. and you said the main one is in the garage the main one's in the garage yes, okay Right is unlocked. Don't, it is also tilted. And then what I said today, take these two clips right here. On top, bring it down just a little bit more. See them right there? Up top, you kind of squeeze them in. Straight, okay. yeah. That's it. For cleaning. Just when you re-engage right. them, make sure they kind of snoop, both snap in. Sometimes they don't want to go in just right. Right, right, yeah. And then to the left and lock. So today okay. is um, May 28th, and it's 9-10. So I just want to come on here and give an update since I am vlogging from my phone. I actually forgot that I was vlogging from my phone. But anywho, so today is May 28th, like I said. And I think the last time I talked to you guys were Tuesday on the 26th when I went for my walkthrough. Yeah, when I went for my, um, my walkthrough and I'm working right now. So that's why I'm not looking at the camera. So I went for... Oh, excuse me. So I went for my walkthrough. Everything was good. Um, well, not everything. They had like some scuffing on the paint that needed to be fixed. And then I don't know if I told you guys this, but they had stuff on the walls that needed to be like basically touched up or fixed. And then the only other ma the only major thing was um, what was it? Oh, my dishwasher. My dishwasher wasn't like it's in there but it wasn't mounted because it was shaking like of course it wasn't on but it was like you can shake it it was like not mounted properly so they, they're gonna have to fix that and then um yeah other than that everything is cool everything's copacetic and he went over like the different things that i need to watch out for and i need to change like i need to change my app filters he said everything every six months and then I had to um like 
on the on the walls on the floors like um where the board the floorboards are like it'll start to like when the house starts to settle it'll start to separate a little bit and they're they're gonna come back and caulk it up at the 12 month um checkup and that's a good thing about um about buying a new construction home is that after i move in there like for the first year um per periodically like every three months or so they're gonna have a, like a checkup like for the first 30 days they're gonna come back and check check up on the house and make sure everything is um copacetic and then he said like if i see anything within those 30 days i can address that um once they come back and check on everything and then they're gonna come back again at either three months or six months and then nine months and then a year so i think they're gonna just come check on the house every year okay so uh, my code would be pinging me and like it scares me every time they ping me because it's like what what did i do like what i did wrong but let me see it states in the notes that interview attached but i don't see which am i taking a look okay uh -oh. today on may 27th um i contacted my loan officers and well actually one of them that she contacted me and asked for i forgot what she asked for i think she asked for um me to send her another check stub so I sent it over to her and actually she never got back to me. So I probably need to call her. But so I sent it over to her and um, they ended up calling me because mind you, yesterday, like yesterday morning, my my rate was not locked and I closed next week. So that was, I was like paranoid about that. But we were waiting on like the rates to go back down because it went, it spiked up during like the memorial um weekend a little bit so we we're waiting for that to go back down because when she tried to lock my rate the past week she couldn't lock it because she couldn't get in to lock it so yeah that was pretty crazy um yeah so that was pretty crazy so when she got in um they finally gave her access to lock like the Cause I'm going through a broker, like a broker mortgage person, and there's a broker mortgage person who just shops around for the lenders, and then there's the actual lender that I'm going to. So the lender, their website was crashing or whatever, and they, my broker didn't have access to lock their rates for me. So she finally got access to lock it, and so she sent me the different rates that I can choose from, and. She also did like a little spreadsheet to where it the rates coincided with the the closing costs that I have to bring. So I chose um, the one that was best for me because she, if you bought a like when you're buying a house, you have to choose um, like if you want to bring less money to closing, you can do what is called um, buying points. So once you buy points, your mortgage your interest rate is going to go up like 0.25 or up in increments because you're getting getting those credits to the closing costs so she was trying to get me as much credit as she could but as a result that made the interest rate go up and so i'm like you know what no just don't even worry about trying to get me credit like i'll just pay what whatever i whatever i just want my interest rate i just need a good interest rate because at the end of the day i have to stick with those monthly payments like Weighing out bringing an extra three thousand dollars or extra four thousand dollars and paying an extra two hundred dollars over however many years, I'm gonna pay for those that three thousand dollars probably thirty times over. Like it doesn't it didn't make sense to me. So I just decided to not try to get any lenders credit and just bring extra money to um the closing. So that's where we're at right now with that. So, yeah, that was that was pretty good. So, I got my rate locked, and I um, she said that I should be receiving my closing disclosures 
um I, was, I think i was supposed to receive them yesterday but i didn't receive anything so i should be receiving them today okay so yeah so my array is locked and it's at a rate that i love of course i would like a better rate but my credit it's not it's not bad but it's not perfect either so of course i can't get the best best interest rate that's out there but i'm perfectly fine with my monthly payments i'm like comfortable with my monthly payments um that i have i mean that that we estimated it to be and i'm praying that that's what it is <laughs> so well that is what it is but of course you don't know the final numbers until you get to the closing tables um actually the principal and the interest is is what it's going to be um it's just once they attach on the taxes and my home insurance is quoted correctly and my mortgage insurance is quoted correctly i believe it's just my taxes i'm not sure um i'm not sure what my taxes are going to be yet so yeah that's where we're at with that okay so yeah i'll talk to you guys um later i guess i don't know well not later i'll talk to you guys when i have some other something else going on i guess bye